students, we are now going to learn about our English language. Are you ready? This is Ma'am Celine, and we are going to have a lot of fun learning as we explore the world of English. Let's go! For now, I am going to show you jumbled letters and you have to arrange them for you to come up with a title of our lesson for today. Here is our first jumbled word. S M I A L C What do you think is the correct answer? Good job! It is flames. The next word is P L Y O I C What do you think is the correct word? Good job! The answer is policy. The next word is C A T F What do you think it is? Awesome! You got it right! The answer is fact. For the last word, A L V E U. What do you think is the correct answer? Great job! The answer is value. Congratulations on earning the Rookie Badge! The objectives of this lesson are the following. Number 1. Explain the characteristics of a good claim. Number 2. Determine what claims of fact, policy, and value are. And number three, formulate claims of fact, policy, and value about a relevant issue today. So bring out your notebooks and pens as we continue with our discussion for today. Making strong arguments is a requirement of critical thought. Arguments are claims backed by reasons that are supported by evidence. Claims are statements about what is true or good or about what should be done or believed. Claims are potentially arguable. If used effectively, a claim will arouse the interest of the person you're conversing with. It will create questions in their minds and they will possibly find the answers in your statements. Characteristics of a good claim The first one is debatable. It must be debatable and arguable by analysis and evidence and not a matter of personal preference or emotion. Precise It should be clear, specific, and assert a consistent viewpoint. It needs to be precise enough to allow for a logical argument and to remain focused on the subject. The third one is content-wise. It should contain proof, quotes, facts, argumentation, expert opinion, and telling details to support a point, which determines the aims, direction, and scope of your paper. The last characteristic is engaging. It should be interesting enough to catch the attention of your target audience. Types of Claim First one is claims of fact. Statements about something that can be proved or disproved using facts. An example of this is the first man to set foot on the moon was Neil Armstrong. Second, 
claims of policy. It argues that certain conditions should exist or that something should or should not be done in order to solve a problem. Here is an example. The debt penalty should be abolished because it has proven to be ineffective in preventing murder. The last one is claims of value. Assert that something is good or bad, or that one object is better than another. An example of this is, homosexuality is immoral because it goes against social, cultural, and biological principles. After the discussion, we are going to have the challenges. To acquire your next patch, you have to accomplish the True to That Challenge. In this challenge, you have to read and analyze the given statements about persuasive language. On your notebook, write true if the statement is correct, write false if it states otherwise. Are you ready? Let's go! Claims of policy assert that something is good or bad, or that one object is better than another. What do you think is the correct answer? Awesome! You got it right! It is false. A claim should be interesting enough to catch the attention of your target audience. Is this true or false? Great job! This is true. A claim should be clear, general, and asserts a consistent viewpoint. Do you think this is a true statement or false? You are correct! This is a false statement. Claims of fact argue that certain conditions should exist or that something should or should not be done in order to solve a problem. What do you think is the correct answer? Awesome! You got it right! The answer is false. This sentence is an example of claim of fact. The Philippine eagle is a critically endangered species. You can now write your answer on your notebook. Great job! The answer is true. You did a great job! Congratulations! You now have the Pathfinder bag! You did a great job on our previous challenge! I actually have another challenge for you to acquire the next badge. It is the Guess What Challenge. In this challenge, you have to identify the statements if they are claims of fact, policy, or value. On your notebook, you can write CP for claims of policy, CF for claims of fact, and CV for claims of value. Are you ready? Here is our first statement. To persuade my audience that the use of lie detector tests and screening employees before employment should be banned by law. What do you think is the correct answer? You are correct! It is CP. To persuade my audience that using lie detector tests 
making pre-employment screening violates an individual's right to privacy. Is it CF, CP, or CV? You got it right again! It is CV. To persuade my audience that although used by many employers in pre-employment screening, lie detector tests are unreliable. What do you think is the appropriate answer? Awesome! You are right! It is CF. Persuade my audience that solar energy is a viable power source. What do you think is the correct answer? Great job! It is CF. To persuade my audience that so-called smart pills are not only overrated, they can also be harmful to a person's health. Do you think this is a fact, policy, or value? You are correct! It is CV. That was awesome! Congratulations on having the Bonfire Master badge! Are you ready for our next activity? Let's go! Our next challenge is Identify Me. You have to identify the following statements if they are claims of fact, policy, or value. Your heart is in charge of pumping blood throughout your body. You can write your answer on your notebook. Are you done? Let's see your answer. Great job! This is a claim of fact. Medical and educational assistance should be provided to children from low-income families. What is your answer? Awesome! You got it right! It's a claim of policy. I believe you should sing rather than dance. What do you think is the correct answer? Amazing! This is claim of value. Emilio Aguinaldo is the first president of the Philippines. What do you think is the appropriate answer? You did a great job! This is a claim of fact. I can see that you're really enjoying exploring our English language. And now you deserve the leader badge. For our bonus challenge, I am going to read the statement and you have to choose the letter of the appropriate answer that best supports the claim. That mushroom is not something you should eat. A. The mushroom is poisonous to begin with. B. The mushroom is unpleasant to eat. C. The mushroom has a sour taste to it. D. The mushrooms aren't good for you. What do you think is the appropriate answer? You are correct! It is letter A. The mushroom is poisonous to begin with. You should consider getting a hearing aid. A. A deaf person wears a hearing aid to block out background sounds. B. To hear, a deaf individual needs to utilize a hearing aid. C. A hearing aid allows a deaf individual to adjust the sound volume. 
For letter D, a hearing aid is a gadget that tracks where the noise is coming from. What do you think is the appropriate answer? Good job! It is letter B. To hear, a deaf individual needs to utilize a hearing aid. Congratulations, Explorer! Now take this Certified Explorer badge. For your assignment, in the previous activities, you were able to identify the different kinds of claims. We were able to see how making arguments is beneficial in critical thinking. Using this new information, write a short message of 5 to 7 sentences addressed to President Rodrigo Duterte on how you, as students, are affected by how the country is being governed. Your message can be in the form of persuasion, a call for action, or just simple gratitude. Support your message with claims of fact, policy, and value. As you can see, learning English is really exciting. So I hope that you don't miss out any adventure and you could come along with me and achieve some challenges again as we continue to explore the world of English. This is a goodbye for now, so take care and God bless.